And Bobby, the moment we've all been waiting if for. If you like those cows, Ooh. you are going to love our sports <laughs> What cast. a treat. Wow. Yeah, we're going to rename this show Animal Hour. Total dominance on the Napa Sports Desk tonight. Nobody in the Summit League has been able to beat Oral Roberts this season. There have been a few close calls, but coming into tonight's matchup with IPFW, the Golden Eagles are 8-0 in league play. They're so hot, in fact, that hair is turning yellow. That's Damon Bellholter's new do right there. Like it. First half, IPFW, they played like they were undefeated. Justin Jordan hits the long three. Mastodon's up 10. Then ORU heats up from behind the arc. That's Dominic Morrison. He knocks down the three ball. ORU's down just two. Then coming up off the steal, Warren Niles hits another one. ORU's up one. But that's like watching paint dry compared to this. It's Armadillo racing at the Maybe Center. Students urging the animals to get to the finish line by just simply blowing on their backs. It looks like more fun than the game, actually. I love that. Morrison, deep, 30 feet away, knocks it down before the shot clock. He nails it. He had 27 points. Wasn't perfect. There was racing, though. 65-54, Golden Eagles win. They're 9-0 in Summit League play. This is our third game in a row where we really haven't played well. It's a credit to them. They're finding ways to win, but if we don't get some things straightened out, this streak won't last very much longer. Who are these Tulsa ladies? No longer a pushover in Conference USA. Tulsa wins big, 77 to 48 over Houston. Tulsa's outscored its last two opponents by 56 combined points. They host Tulane at 2 o'clock on Sunday. The WNBA schedule is out, and the Tulsa Shock opens the season at home against San Antonio on May 19th. You can see the entire schedule at NewsOn6.com. When we come back, no more racing. It's okay. Brent Venables talks about why he's leaving the Sooners behind. Driven by your Oklahoma Ford dealers, this is News on 6 Sports with Bobby Lewis. Brent Venables said his decision to leave OU in the rearview mirror and move on to Clemson wasn't an easy one. He said his faith made it clear to go, but the Sooners assistant was here for 13 seasons, and that makes it difficult to move on to this next chapter in his life. I felt more than anything this is a, an incredibly positive place uh, and uh, a situation. I'm very, very happy uh, in Norman, but uh, and being here 13 years, you have a lot of time to reflect and, uh, and uh, just felt that it was time for me to um, pursue, again, a very unique opportunity um, for, again, a, a variety of reasons. Uh, you know, the, the, thing, the setup is there to, to have great success there as well. To hear more from Venables, you can check out the complete interview at NewsOn6.com. The Thunder's one-two punch of Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook will be around for at least five more years. Oklahoma City extended Westbrook's contract today through 2017, and he'll earn $80 million under this new deal. How about some high school kids? They'll play for Skittles if you offer it. East Central and Jenks tonight, part of the Jenks Union Tournament. This is Caleb Porter, well covered, but he still knocks down the three. That ties the game. And then how about the other way? Jacob Seidel, he's going to miss the three-pointer, but Nick Shelbar rebounds, and he scores. Jenks is up by seven, but East Central rallies to win 49-46 to the final. Same tournament over at Union. Edison taking on Edmund Santa Fe. Edison's Aaron Pons gets the steal, drives all the way in, makes the layup. Nice play for him. Edmund Santa Fe goes inside on their next trip down. Shaquille Morris gets in for the dunk, falls down, but that's all right. You still get the two points. Edison's Don Simmons fights in through the defense and gets the tough layup to go. And Santa Fe, they win tonight, 62-57, the final. Uh, I don't know what their halftime entertainment was, but I doubt it was Armadillo's. No, which is a shame because that was the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. Uh -huh. Which is why we need to see more. We'll see more. Yes, yeah. that's okay. the guarantee when we come back.